Well, Victoria will welcome the significant easing of restrictions from tonight as the Omicron wave is brought under control. Density limits will be scrapped, including at AFL games, which will return to full capacity for the first time since the start of the pandemic. It's been a long time coming, but Victoria is finally ready to normalise the spread of COVID-19. Restrictions will ease as of today. Density limits are being scrapped. Indoor dance floors are reopening. QR code check-ins will no longer be necessary in retail, schools and many workplaces, but will still be required for hospitality and entertainment venues. And unvaccinated international visitors will have their 14-day quarantine period halved. That's largely due to a drop in the number of COVID cases in hospitals since restrictions were imposed on January 6. And more than half of eligible Victorians having received their booster. We see this as a very strong signal that people can feel safe in higher density environments, that it is safe to boogie the night away and it's certainly helping build back the buzz here in Melbourne. Masks will be mandated for at least another week, but changes are likely to be announced for low-risk settings. That if all goes well, uh, the expectation, the hope, is that uh, we'll be able to uh, see uh, a further loosening of those arrangements uh, in a week's time. Football fans will embrace one of the most significant first signs of pre-pandemic life when stadiums return to full capacity ahead of the AFL season kickoff for the first time in two years. Up to 100,000 spectators will be permitted inside the MCG for the season opener grand final rematch between Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs on March 16 at the MCG. The AFL has welcomed the announcement. It's up to people now to get excited get out of their houses, get out of their bubbles and, and head back to the footy and support their teams and get back to their way of life. As has Melbourne Lord Mayor Sally Cap. Football is a major driver of economic activity in our city. It's, it's uh, people are voting with their feet. We're seeing our footfalls increase every day. All of the trends are going up. Getting back to uh, capacity crowds I think will be a sign that uh, well, um, uh, our economy is well and truly he healing and now our society will be able to enjoy themselves. Fans will be required to wear masks when moving around stadiums of more than 30,000 spectators, but not while seated outdoors. Authorities are expecting 170,000 people on the first two nights of the season. I'd just like to leave you with one final thought. Go the dogs. Jessica Maggio, Sky News, Melbourne.